everyone, it's Anita. I make videos about university, travel and also language learning. So this video is in collaboration with Le Monde from Days of French and Swedish. His channel is all about language learning, so I highly recommend his channel. Yeah, I think it's a really fun video and I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's go to the first part. <laughs> My question for you is, is this Swiss place name real? Muen. So you know like the cows moo and then the mm. place name's Muen? I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not crazy enough that, that yeah. you would bother making that up, I feel. Yeah. Okay. Now, is this Australian place name real? Woolamaloo. I don't think so. Is it, it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it is spelled like that. Oh, and really? my, my favourite um, thing about Woolloomooloo is that most of these bizarre place names are like out in the country. It sounds of like 400, 500, maybe 2,000 people. But not Woolloomooloo. Woolloomooloo is about as directly in New City as you can get. Um, it's like very near to the airport and it's some of the most expensive real estate in the world, actually. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. Yeah. The next question is, which of these three Swiss place names is not real? A. Huhn. B. Bubicon. C. Egg. And only one of them is not real. Yeah. Uh, egg. I'm going to say that one's not real. Egg. It's real and it's spelled exactly like egg, but it doesn't oh. mean egg, so yeah. So that one's an actual place, so one of the other two is not real. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Bubicon? That one's still real. So the first one is false, and the, yeah. the funny part about this is that hoon means chicken. Oh, okay. And the last one with egg, I thought like that would be nice uh, to play with. Yeah. But you're Seriously overestimating my grammar. Which of these place? Oh, so this is different. Uh, which of these place names is real? So okay. two of these are made up. A. Never go back. B. Come by chance. C. Wishy washy girl. Um, I'm gonna go with the last one. So that's the one you think is real? Yeah. No, that's oh, not. Okay. The first one is just weird because they're separate words. So that kind mm, of actually the second one. I messed up the second one. The second one should be like that. Ah, uh, okay. So, is the first one right? <laughs> second one is just... No, I can't guess. <laughs> so, Never Go Back and Wishy Washyville are both made up. Oh, okay. But Come By Chance is a real place. Oh, okay. So, my first question is how many countries surround switzerland oh. and can you name them <laughs> oh okay so italy is, yeah. on, is definitely one border yeah france is definitely another border yeah very sure germany is a border um i feel like austria is over on the other side of germany oh no austria does touch it um, so that's four. I'm going to say five, and I don't know what the last one is, but just five. Five is correct, and you missed Liechtenstein. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's why well, it's that's... a very small <laughs> principality between Switzerland and Austria. Yeah, but that's the hard one. So I have a sporting question for you that unfortunately is much harder than to name a single athlete. A full game of test cricket takes how long to play? Oof. Now, just to be, just so we make sure we're being fair here, do you even know what cricket is? You've heard of cricket? Isn't that slightly similar to golf? It's more similar to baseball. No, you're thinking croquet. Cricket is, I think, only popular in the Commonwealth states. Is yes. that? Yeah. So I'm not really familiar with it. It's similar to baseball. Okay. And it's rough idea in that you have someone throwing a ball, someone, someone standing at the other end of a certain distance, hitting it, and then you have 
fieldsmen and just just like there, there is in baseball if you hit it for someone and they catch it you're mm-hmm. out so mm-hmm. it's similar but it's very different in how it actually plays out it takes a quite a long time so what is your guess as to how long a full game of test cricket takes to play um okay i'm gonna go with two hours <laughs> Um, five days. What? How? How is that possible? <clears throat> well, I mean, they're not, like they don't play the whole time. Like they go, they go off and go to sleep and come back the next day. What is required for you to win a game yeah. of test cricket? Generally, takes quite a long time. I have um, a political question. I think it's still an easy question, but we'll see. What international organization does Switzerland? not belong to a the european free trade association b the european union or c the council of europe uh i feel like it's the eu the european union correct i thought that was yeah easy enough because um well i don't think i knew about that before i think i happened to see that when i was checking up on the four languages thing ah okay because we're really in the middle of the EU like a lot of people assume that we're also part of it but we're not okay my question is far less serious um I'm, I'm hoping you haven't heard of this a tim tam is a what a Australian slang for a sleep in the afternoon b the most common brand of swimming costume which has led to most swimmers being called tim tams or timmies for sure or c a chocolate biscuit so I did look up Australian slang for my impression and I feel like I Mm -hmm. saw that. I'm not sure if it was C. It's not. Is that your guess? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's a chocolate. Okay. Okay. So you think you might have seen the word tin pan in Australian slang? Yeah. I mean, it's slang if you put it in a slang sentence. It's actually a product name. Oh, okay. This actually leads me to my last question, which Mm -hmm. is... How much chocolate in kilogram does the average Swiss person eat in a year? You know what? I feel like I read this, actually. I don't remember what it was. 5.5 kilograms. 10.5 kilograms. Okay, that's quite a lot. But it actually decreased a bit, which is maybe a bit concerning. No, but um, yeah, so I think two years ago it was 12 point something. So yeah. That's quite a big decrease so okay this is a bit more serious Mm -hmm. and is my last question Mm -hmm. anzac day which is australia's main day of commemoration for war soldiers is observed on april the 25th in remembrance of a particularly unsuccessful battle from world war one which country was this battle against in world war one yes Australia was part of one now. Um, okay. I assume that the Australian army was with the American and British one? Yeah. They, yeah. With, with the Allies, yeah. Mainly yeah. with the British. And, and the they Cajun. fought, obviously, Germany, but... It was, it was part of... Um, an Allied assault on the Euro- on Europe, but not on the Western Front because the Western Front had um, a sense, had sail, reached a stalemate. Mm-hmm. And so the idea was to start, start attacking Europe on a different front. I guess you'd call it more like the Eastern Front or... Uh, what year was that? 1915. Okay, so that was before the Russian Revolution. So was it... Russia? No. It wasn't against Russia, but it was with a, with a view to making its way into Russia. But it was so unsuccessful that they retreated. To get into Russia... Um, and if it helps, I don't know if it would help, but that's the name of the battle. In Greece? No. no Pretty close to that, I think. I think it was close. Turkey. Oh, Turkey. Okay. At the time, I believe it was the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, so that's like... It's, it's funny because it, as famous as that battle is, like every Australian knows the name Gallipoli. I don't think that many Australians know that it was actually against Turkey. I think a lot of people just assume it was Germany. 
Okay, so your, your language sample. Yeah. Okay, I'm Good going way. to listen to it. Yes, už megu, nors televizorius buvo įjungtas. Televizorius buvo įjungtas, nežiūrint, nepaisant to, jis už megu. Jie buvo vėlu, nežiūrint, nepaisant to, jis dar pasiliku. Mes buvome susitarę, nežiūrint, nepaisant to, jis netėjų. Nors jis neturi vairuotojų pažymėjimų, vairuoja automobilį. Jis važiuoja greitai. Is it Lithuanian, Latvian or Polish? I'm going with Polish. Oh, really? No. Okay. <laughs> Lithuanian or Latvian. Or I can just tap the right Wait, 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 wait. Um, oh. Lithuanian, Latvian, Latvian. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you know why? You know why? I thought that because I was researching um, Estonia and then yeah. I um, looked it up and it said that the language is not really Slavic. So that kind of confused me. And so yeah. because their neighboring country is uh, Latvia. So then I, I thought think... that it shouldn't sound as Slavic, but I know that Polish yeah. is different. So yeah. it was kind of a stupid guess. I guess now we're getting to the impressions part <laughs> yeah. and honestly this was so hard because I feel like it's easier to just try to learn another language or sound like you're speaking another language than another accent English accent so I'm focusing more on the slang <laughs> this is going to be such a fail honestly <clears throat> the obvious sentence first sentence I would use would be good day mate so that's so yeah. one I thought of was, oh, I'm starving. Let's go do a Mecca's run. That was pretty good, actually. If I met you, like, in Australia, yeah. and you said like that, I'd be like, you've been living here a while. Like, yeah. I would, know, I would know that you were European, but I was like, yeah. I, you actually did have a few of the vowels. Yeah. And the last one I have is, um, I had elbow toast and a cup of a brekkie. Um... Does that make sense? I was putting birds yeah, together. Yeah, it, 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 totally, it totally makes sense. I just like, I'm kind of a bit disappointed with like how hipster our slang has become. I just wanted to use um, a lot of words in one sentence. That's why. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Lamont's video and channel. I hope it was entertaining and helpful maybe even. Like I learned some very interesting things. I hope you did too. See you in my next video. Bye.